My dear brothers and sisters, today is the Easter Monday, and this is the first octave, first day of the octave of Easter, in which when we say octave of Easter, for eighth days we are invited to reminisce, to savor, especially that we keep the blessings that we received from the Easter proclamation. For the reason that I think it's our common tendency that since that the, the memory of the Easter has only a short-lived, if we have to describe, siguro lumipas lang siya. But our liturgy has its octave, which means for eight days, we have to save or we have to continuously treasure, reminish. That is why um, our gospel today would even speak about that they don't want to proclaim that Jesus has risen from the dead. The chief priests trying to bribe with the elders and giving large money to the soldiers so that they would not see and, and say, testify what they have witnessed of the empty tomb. Or, 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 or the, 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 the news spreading around that Jesus had risen from the dead. You could just imagine that they, they said to the, to the soldiers that uh, his disciples came, you are to say his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. Just imagine, and if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. Of course, the soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. So you could just imagine that the spread of the resurrection of Jesus, that is risen from the dead, had also been twisted. And I think this is also same is true with our common experience that for now, perhaps, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is not sink in us. Or perhaps still we are in the state of wondering, oh, perhaps, that if it's really Christ has risen. And my dear brothers and sisters, I think this is what we are being moved in our Easter Monday, telling to us that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee and there they will see me. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ had truly risen. And may his resurrection has also moved us and touched us. And that we can also be the proclaimers of his good news of his resurrection. How could we become Proclaimers of his resurrection when it has changed us the way we look at life. Getting rid of negativities and pessimism, focusing to what is good and what is right, focusing to what is better, what is pleasing, rather than looks like still we are in the tomb of all this pessimism, negativities, hatredness, bitterness of life. But Jesus is truly reason. He emptied the tomb for us to have a new beginning, a new purpose, a new life, a new joy, a new hope, and a sense of direction in life. Amen.